Good morning and welcome. My name is Julie and today we're going to look at Trinity Sunday. Today is Trinity Sunday, but what does that mean to us as Christians in the church today? So we need to look back to last week and remember the wonderful celebration that we had because it was Pentecost. It was Pentecost. So it was 50 days after Easter and 10 days since Jesus had ascended into heaven, gone to be with his father. And the disciples were waiting for something. Jesus had told them, the helper is coming and wait for the helper. The helper arrived in the form of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit came with power and might and flames. But they didn't burn, remember? Um, flames and they powered the, the disciples and the believers. And on that day, 3,000 people became Christians that day. The birthing of the church that we know today. But... This Sunday, we're thinking about what that means to us in Trinity Sunday. So Trinity means tri, meaning three, and unity. So three in one. We have God, but in three parts. And three in very important parts that we have of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So that means that we have one God, but three parts. That's a really difficult concept to understand. But I'm going to try and help you this morning to think about that and how that affects us as Christians today in our lives. So we want to think about those three concepts of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Three parts of God in one. We want to look at God the Father first. We have given God the Father a white candle to represent the Father. He is our Heavenly Father and he has been with us from the very beginning of the Bible to the very end and on. God is with us always. Then God sent his son Jesus. So God the Father, God the Son. And we've given him a purple colour um, showing royalty and kingship. The colour of royalty because Jesus came as a human on earth to die for our sins so that we could know God more. And Jesus came to direct us and guide us and lead us to God. So we have God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit, remember, came at the Pentecost. This is God the Holy Spirit. And we've got it yellow because it's light and shines bright and it came with power and might. And the Holy Spirit is with us today in our lives to help us to know God more and to guide us in our lives. So we have God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Now God the Father is with us continually. He is with us always in our lives, shining brightly, and he's been there from the beginning. But then he sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us so that we could know him more and come to God. And then finally, the Holy Spirit came so that we would have the Holy Spirit in us to help us and guide us and lead us. Now they shine and they give off light and we want to shine and give off light as Christians today in our lives. But you know we need all three in our lives and that's why it's so important that God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit come together. And as they come together the light shines brighter, the flame gets longer and brighter and they work together in unity together. This is the triune God, God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. They work together as one and yet they're three separate parts. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But when we have all of those in our lives, we can shine brightly. We can shine for God and know God in our lives. And live as Christians today in this world, bringing God's light and hope to other people around us. Isn't that wonderful that we have God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit with us. Trinity Sunday. Try 
unity Sunday. Three in one. It blows your head, it blows your mind to think that God is three in one. That he gives us the power and authority to go out into the world. You know, in our first reading this morning from Matthew 28, verses 16 to 20, it's a great commission. It was where Jesus told his disciples to go out into all the world to share the good news. And he said to go out in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit as well. And then in our second reading, in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, 11 to 14, again, it's the final greetings from Paul, who's telling people, finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice for full restoration and encourage one another. Be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. And I love this. The very end of that those verses that we were given. In verse 14, it gives the grace that quite often is said at the very end of our church service. And it's the made grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And so we're going to pray that right now for each one of us. Think in your heads, who would you love to bless today? Who would you love to know God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit today in their lives and in our lives? And so I'm going to pray that blessing upon all of us now that we would know God the Father, we would know God the Son and we would know God the Holy Spirit. We would know our wonderful, powerful God in our lives. So let's pray. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen.